Gary said it's going to be a cold Halloween, meaning those costumes may be covered up by coats. Yeah, our Jalen Bangs joins us with how you can not only stay warm this Halloween, but help your trick-or-treaters stay visible as well. Jalen? Cold temps and potential snow could make for a less than ideal Halloween, but that's not the Wisconsinites can't handle. But just to be sure, I caught up with a doctor from the UW Health System today, and he said that the weather will face, there's still a chance that hypothermia is still possible, but it's not a great one. So hats, gloves, and coats will be needed. And with us having some snowfall, road conditions may be less than ideal. So wearing clothing gear, gear that will be easier for drivers to see and reflective gear will be needed while trick-or-treating. No one's going to get away with highlighter green Darth Vader. Um, that's probably not going to happen. But uh, if you are wearing those darker costumes or things like that, you know, wear some reflective, reflective bands uh, or put reflective stickers on that costume or maybe on your pumpkin that you're carrying your candy in. Just so that if headlights see that, um, it warns that driver that, hey, something's going on here uh, versus, you know, an all black costume. You can imagine that can be hard uh, for drivers at night um, to, to see. Potiff also adds to plan stopping points along the way where you can stop and warm up. And for those of you that are trick-or-treating, we have a list of municipality trick-or-treating times on our website that you can find on channel3000.com.